Nice catch, Rocky. Okay, Rocky, drop it. You gotta let go so I can throw it again. Let go now, Rocky. Drop it. Whoa! <laughs> nice try, but I'm on to you. Well, that was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Say, Luigi, we've been going up for almost three months now, and I've been wondering... Yeah? How come I haven't met your parents yet? D did I offend you in any way? Why do you want to meet them? Well, since we're dating, I have to meet them eventually. It's just something couples do. Besides, you've already met my parents. Yeah, by accident. That was just bad timing. You don't have to meet my parents, really. They're old and boring. Are you ashamed of me or something? No, no, that's not it at all, Daisy. I'd never be ashamed of you. I just don't feel comfortable having my family and my love life together. I'm weird like that. That's all. Fine. Keep me hidden from your family. Ugh, I'll give them a call. <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. This is gonna suck. Thinking of ordering a pizza? No. Chinese? No. Then what? I'm trying to work up the nerve to call mom and dad. Oh. Well, another five to ten minutes should do it. Why are you calling them anyway? Daisy wants to meet them. Oh, it's that time, huh? I remember when I had to do that with Peach. How was it? Eh, it was okay. Nothing too embarrassing. Then again, I'm not the type that gets easily embarrassed. You might have a rough night though. You've done some pretty embarrassing things, man. I could cry right now, I really could. Now Daisy's gonna see me as a bigger dog than I already am. I don't think you're a dog. Oh, Paul! I know it, you know it, the whole freaking Mushroom Kingdom knows it. Heck, even my fans know it. I am a dork. Believe me, I don't take that way of you. And neither does Peach, Yoshi, Toad, and especially Daisy. We're your friends, man. <laughs> Thanks, Mario. <laughs> Means a lot. <laughs> no problem, bro. Alright, it's time to make a phone call. Hey, the boy, Luigi. Get it over with quick. Just like ripping off a band-aid. Yeah! Just keep her you cool. Yeah! I have the tiger, Luigi. Does that even fit the situation? Nope, it just sounds cool. Uh, Luigi, that's not mom and dad's phone number. I know, it's Domino's. I need a pizza to my face before I go through with this. Yeah, alright. See you then, Ma. Alright, got that taken care of. Now I just gotta get dinner over with. I guess it won't be so bad. It's just dinner with mom and dad. Really, how bad can it be? Hey, Mom. We're about to go to the living room to work on our project. Okay. Oh, who's your little friend? Oh, uh, this is Cassandra. Hi. Hello. Oh, you must be the girl Luigi has a crush on. I overheard them saying something about green eyes. Well, you two stay focused on your schoolwork. No hanky-panky. I'm just in the other room. Sorry to interrupt, uh, but is Luigi in this class? Yes, he is. I just need to see him for a sec. All right. Huh? Dad, what are you doing here? You forgot your lunch, so your mother told me to bring it to you. And don't worry, she switched back to the old brand of bread on account of the new one making you constipated. Dad! See you at home. I don't feel so good. Well, I called them. We're going over on Saturday. Sounds good. Thanks for doing this, Luigi. Yeah. No problem. Is something wrong? You seem a little down. I'm fine. Just a little tired, I guess. 
Um, just so you know, if you want to do something else this weekend, I can cancel. Are you embarrassed by your parents? No, I'm a grown man. I've got no reason to be embarrassed. Okay, just checking. And we're not canceling. We have to do this sooner or later, so let's just get this over with. Plus, it would be nice to get to know the people who raised you. Well, I know yours, and I don't think they like me too much. Like I blew up a church or something. Th they like you? Well, my mom is starting to. My dad is still eh, but he'll get over it soon. He's just a bit of a grouch. A bit? Speak of the devil. Over? Yeah, I'll talk to you later, Luigi. Alright, bye. Saturday is going to bite me in the keister. Ready? Y yeah. Why didn't you dress up? We're just going to my parents. Okay, just thought I'd ask. I'm just used to dressing up whenever I go out to dinner. So they live in Brooklyn, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this will be fun. I've never been to the real world before. How are we gonna get there? There's a pipe near my house that leads to Brooklyn. When we moved to the Mushroom Kingdom, the Mushroom people made it for us so we can visit family members and stuff. So if it's near your house, why didn't you tell me? I could have met up with you and we could have left from there. I'm not thinking today. <laughs> it's fine. Well, ladies first. Let's get this show on the road. Let's -a go. Luigi, you're sweating. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. You know, we could still go and do something else. <laughs> uh, wanna see a movie? Don't be silly. We're right at the door. Oh, hello, you two. Marco, come. You're here. I'm coming. See? I told you he wasn't gay. Well, you put him in those dance classes as a kid. What was I supposed to think? Didn't even step in yet. How have you been, sweetheart? It's been a while since you last visited us. Ow! I'm fine, Ma. I've just been a little busy. Cute. I'm Louise. Luigi's mother, of course. <laughs> and this is my husband, Marco. Hi. How you doing? Hello. It's nice to meet you two. <sighs> Hey, buddy! Aw, what a cute yet fat cat! What's his name? His name is Dusty. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty fat. And old, too. My parents have had this cat since I was seven. I'm surprised he even lived this long, though. I guess Mario should have named him Lucky. Wow. That cat is probably gonna outlive me. That is such a pretty dress you have. Yellow looks really good on you. Thank you. I sort of overdressed for tonight, though. I'm just so used to it. Oh, it's fine, dear. Don't worry about it. How come you didn't dress up, Luigi? It's just dinner with you guys. I didn't mean like a tux or anything. Just some nice pants instead of those overalls would have been fine. This isn't one of your normal visits. Sorry, Ma. I asked him the same thing. Oh, heaven forbid he were anything else. It was always such a battle to get him and his brother to dress up whenever we went out. With Mario, it would go on for quite a while, but Luigi would cave in as soon as they said, I'll get your father. <laughs> That's so Luigi, to buckle like that. Well, I better go set the table. I lost track of time and now here you are. I'll come help you. Thank you, dear. I'm so proud. What? Both of my boys are dating princesses. It's like winning the lottery in fatherhood. You had me worried for such a long time, Luigi. You were always so quiet in your teen years while your brother had dates left and right. Anyways, good job. Uh, thanks, Dad. I'm hungry. I've been hungry for two weeks because of this diet. Thank God I get to cheat tonight. Are uh, you on a diet too? 
frankly, I think the whole thing doesn't make sense. I don't know. Hey, Mario. Where's Luigi tonight? Is he over at Daisy's? Eh, he and Daisy over at my parents' for dinner. Oh, well, that's nice. It was so fun when we went. Your mother is such a lively spirit. Yep, that she is. When are we gonna go see them again? Again? B but you already met them. Why do we have to go back? Because I would like to see them again sometime. They're very nice people. Did I offend you at all this week? So, how did you two meet? Oh, Peach invited me to play some golf and introduced me to Mario and Luigi. That's nice. So you and Peach must know each other pretty well. She's such a sweet girl, just like her mother. You two knew her parents? Oh yes, since we lived there for a few years, we got to know some people, including the king and queen. Marco did services and visited the castle often. That's how he and King George got to know each other better. It's funny, actually. I walked by the castle one time. He and a footstool were playing chess. Then I noticed it was Toadsworth. That gave me a good laugh. <laughs> That's really neat. So, how come you guys left? After Mario and Luigi were born, we had some trouble with those Koopa things. They kept attacking the house, so we had to move. Shortly after we left, the king and queen passed away. It's a real shame. He was one of my closest friends. George, King Richard, and I would always hang out together. Good times. Oh... Wait, King Richard from Sarasaland? Yeah. Why? Cuz I'm from Sarasaland. King Richard's my father. <laughs> oh wow. Small world, huh? Man, I haven't seen him in over 30 years, I think. Well, whenever you guys are in the mushroom world, come by for a visit. I'm sure he'll be happy to see you again. Yeah, sure thing. So then, Daisy dear, I imagine you asked Luigi out for the date, perhaps? Oh no, he asked me. We were about to leave the field, and I noticed Luigi acting a bit funny. So I asked him, and he blurted out Mario's cholesterol in response. And then he asked me out. Oh, well, it's good to hear he overcame his little problem. Luigi was always so shy around girls. When he was a teenager, he used to practice asking out girls with the cat <laughs> due to his stuttering. <laughs> oh, calm down. It was years ago. I'd say all that practice paid off. Oh, God. So, did he get the number? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> Thanks. By the way, I really like your sauce, Louise. You're better than the chefs in my castle. Thank you, dear. But it's actually one of Luigi's recipes. <laughs> I never thought I'd get cooking tips from my son. You never told me you cooked. Well, uh... I don't really. I can only make sauce. That's all. <laughs> what are you talking about? Of course you can. You cooked Thanksgiving dinner back in 93. What's the matter with you? Guess I forgot. Anyways, try some of this on your ravioli. It kicks it up a bit. Uh, no thanks, Dad. What? You can't handle a little spiciness? It uh, just doesn't agree with me. You had an argument with it or something? Just try a bit. No, Dad, I really can't. Please! One bite! Oh, for heaven's sakes, Marco! If he has it, he'll be in the bedroom all night! Stop pushing him! Oh. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart! I guess after three weeks of dating, Daisy isn't supposed to know any of that stuff yet. Wait, three weeks? Um, we've been going out for almost three months. You have? Doug! <laughs> Yeah, where'd you get three weeks from? From, from Luigi. Luigi. Did, did I say weeks? I meant to say months. The uh, stupid phone connection must have been choppy. It was just a little miscommunication. <laughs> I'm in trouble. M mommy Yes? Are you mad? I'm not mad. Just... disappointed. That's even worse! Ah, oh, come on, please don't be like that. I can explain. Alright, explain. Okay, this is how it went. 
We met C, and you know how I am with the dating scene, so uh, surprisingly, things turned out quite well. And time just flew by. We were just having fun, and you know how a young lover like is. Well, not young young, but you know, not old either. I guess that would be for teenagers, so um, semi-young? Anyway, time flew by, and one day she asked me about meeting you guys. And I was so focused on not messing things up with Daisy that I... Uh, I forgot about you guys. Plus, you two embarrassed the heck out of me. And if I said we'd been seeing each other for months, you would have been upset anyway. So, um, I'm sorry for lying, Ma. Oh, it's fine. It is? Yes, though next time, just tell me the truth. It's your life. You can do things at your own pace. Oh, um, okay. And I hope by that fun comment, it wasn't any of that fooling around stuff. She's a good girl. You wait until you're married to do that. <coughs> oh my god. I'm gonna fix us up a plate of cookies. I need a plate of amnesia. Oh, hello, Daisy. What's up with you? Nothing. Are you by any chance upset about that joke I made at dinner? Maybe. Aw, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Uh, don't say it like that. I'm not a little kid. All right. I'm sorry for ripping on you, dude. Bro, guy, home slice. A little much, I gotta say, but I forgive you. Wait a minute. I'm supposed to be mad at you! Oh, uh, yeah? Are you trying to turn the tables on me? No, no. I really was upset about the joke. All right. But what's with all the lies, man? Did you not want me to meet your parents because I'm not as ladylike as Peach? No! I swear to you, it's not that. I just didn't want you to meet my parents because they embarrassed me. And I kept you from them for so long. Mine do too, you know. Not like my parents. Still, and what about the cooking? I'm a little insecure about that too. Why? There are male chefs. What's the problem? Well, cuz... I thought maybe you'd think I'm more of a wimp or something. I mean, I can't take horror films, and your drive is much better than mine. Plus, Mario used to tease me about it when we were younger. You worry too much, you know that. So I've been told. <laughs> I'm sorry about this whole mess. And I'm sorry for making fun of you. Duffy's almost ready. We're gonna have to fix this little affection problem you've got. I know. Ah, uh, Ma, not the photo album, please. Ah, uh, don't be such a baby. It's fun seeing you in your cute years. I'm not a baby. <laughs> hey, it's Mario. Oh my god, this is rich. <laughs> Good, look at pictures of Mario. Better him than me. <laughs> and here's Luigi. Oh, crud. Aw, you're so cute. Nice touch, by the way. <laughs> uh, why is it that parents have to take these kinds of pictures? I really don't see the need to. Hey, Luigi. I see your thingy. My what? Okay, that's enough pictures. We really don't need to see things that should be private. Will you just relax? That was years ago. It's not like it's that size now. Is it? No! Okay, good. Because I'm not going to lie to you. People would make fun of you for that. Worst conversation ever. That reminds me, when I was pregnant with these two, I went in for one of my sonograms, and the doctor said Luigi was gonna be a girl. Well, after they were born, Marco and I had to go and return most of the baby clothes we bought. Already camera shy, I see. It's that small! Oh, calm down. I didn't mean it like that. Sometimes you can't see things in a sonogram. Eh. Wow. Hmm? You really didn't like to keep your clothes on. How old is he here, Louise? I, uh... I think around... 
four or five. For some reason, he just liked to run around like that. But he grew out of it soon afterwards. <laughs> this is so unlike Luigi. You got one taking off everything, and the other is too shy to even take off his shirt to go swimming. Daisy, no. You can't take off your shirt to go swimming. Oh, no. Why not? What's the matter with you? Nothing. I just have a bit of a belly and... A belly? Let me tell you something, Luigi. I've seen plenty of people at the beach who are bigger than you. Nobody's gonna focus on that thing you call a belly. And if they do, who cares? I don't. I take off of my shirt when I go to the beach. Toughen up a bit. Your dad's right. You shouldn't care what others think. If you'd seen him without his shirt, you'd wish he did. Anyway, I'll wait until I lose a few pounds first. I look a little slobbish right now. You don't need to lose any weight, sweetheart. You look fine just the way you are. See? You look fine. Uh, thanks, Ma. If anyone needs to lose weight, it's your father. Oh, I see. You don't like the way I look. You know it's not that. I don't care about looks. The doctor said you have high cholesterol and need to lose a few. That, and I don't want to be crushed in my sleep, Marco. Oh, sure. Hold that over my head. God, strike me now. Thank you for having me over tonight. It was nice meeting you. You're welcome, dear. It was nice having you. Well, we'll just be on our way now, so good night. Oh, hold on a second, sweetheart. Hmm? Um, okay, Ma. I was at the mall the other day and I picked up a little something for you. It just looked so cute. I had to buy it. I got you some new pajamas. Try them when you get home and let me know if they fit or not so I can exchange them for you. Ah, uh, that's so nice of your mom to get you new PJs, Luigi. Uh, yes. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, Ma. Alright, we're gonna go now. Night. Good night. So, how was last night? I looked like a tomato. Uh, that bad, huh? Uh, well, at least you got it out of the way. It'll be a while before you have to do that again. Yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, by the way, Daisy saw that picture of you dressed as a superhero. What? Hello? Hi, Luigi. Oh, hi, Ma. What, uh, why are you calling? I'm just calling to say what a nice time we had with you and Daisy last night. We don't see you and your brother much, so I was wondering if it's okay with you. Did you ask him yet? This call is expensive, so hurry up. <sighs> this is in the regular form, Marco. It's the one the professor made for us so we can talk to the boys. Oh, right, right. Where's the bread? For the love of... Oh, it's right in front of you! I don't like this kind. It's too hard. It's better for you. Just eat it. Remember what the doctor said. Fine, but I'm only eating this because I'm really hungry and too lazy to argue with you. For once, I appreciate your laziness. Ah, uh, Mom? Oh, sorry, Luigi. So, anyway, I was wondering if we could come by and stay for a week or so as a little vacation. We haven't been to the Mushroom Kingdom in years, and like I said before, you two don't come by much. Is that alright with you, Luigi? Uh... Dude, just say no! You moved out for a reason, remember? To get away from them, have your own life! They're such a pain and you don't need them cramping your style! Well, I... Uh... Come on, guy, these are the people who raised you, took care of you when you were sick. They just want to spend some time with you and Mario since you're all grown up. You owe it to them. You're right. But they're so freaking annoying! Well, eh, he does have a point. They are annoying. But still. Luigi? Are you there? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can come. Really? Are you sure it's not a bother? It's fine. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Can you come pick us up tomorrow? Yeah, sure. No problem. All right. See you then, Luigi. Bye. Bye. Uh, who was on the phone? Mom and Dad are staying for a week. Oh, crud.